Thank you all for joining us today. I'm Justin with BuildOps. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at um, BuildOps all-in-one um, operational ERP. Uh, specifically, we're going to be talking about uh, the field service management as well as uh, the project management for your longer duration work. Let's go ahead and hop in and get started. Kicking things off with the field service management side, um, BuildOps is going to incorporate a uh, full dispatching function with the ability to auto-generate maintenance work orders for your reoccurring work. The schedule is all click and drag. The technicians are listed down here on the left. And if you have a large crew, you're able to sort and filter either by department or you know, by any other uh, metric that you're looking for. Besides a detailed dispatch board, we also need to keep an eye on our jobs. Uh, BuildOps has a uh, reactive jobs board, which will allow you to move different columns around, be able to add additional filtering so that you're able to see uh, the particular jobs in the statuses that you're looking for. Um, one old saying is you can't manage what you can't measure and you can't enforce accountability without transparency. And so uh, we're giving you both here on the build op side, depending on if you're looking for completed unbuild jobs or the jobs that uh, we're pulling permits for, or maybe the ones that are sitting out there waiting on parts. Whatever it happens to be, you'll have able to set up these custom filters and with the easy to see statuses, keep track of where your jobs are and make sure those aren't slipping through the cracks. Besides the back office view and generating of uh, the, uh, the work tickets and getting those dispatched out, we also need our guys out in the field um, to be able to, to complete the task that, that we need them to complete. So pairing all this together, we have a uh, mobile app as well. Now, this mobile app is going to be available for both the Android and Apple devices, whether those are phones or tablets. So what you guys are seeing over here on the left is, is, is my actual phone. And whenever I log into BuildOps, the first place it'll take me is to a list of the jobs that I'm assigned to for the day. Now, it's up to you how I get these jobs. Do I get them one at a time and I don't see the next one until I complete the first one? Uh, will you be able to let me see past or future jobs as well? If I go ahead and click into one of those, um, we'll be able to see all the information that the, technici te the technician needs to get on site. We've got the address. We've got the contact. Why are we going out there? And then down here below is going to be the report that they're going to fill out. Now, everything from before to after pictures, inventory items, being able to generate POs um, for your over-the-counter purchases, any forms that need to be filled out, any tasking that needs to be complete on a, a preventative maintenance uh, work order, all of that's going to fall here underneath this section. Uh, but what we want to be able to do is um, enforce some accountability, and we do that with what we call gated workflows. So we're able to pick and choose which of these fields is going to be required. Now, as a technician, I have to have these fields filled out before I'm able to um, continue on to the next call. So making sure that we get that information right the first time. Now, besides the service management platform, we also have full-blown project management. On the project management side, we're going to be able to um, have our guys out in the field create uh, field reports. We're going to be able to create and track our RFIs as well as our change orders, bubbling up the revenue, cost, profit, and margin on those approved change orders. And project management these days is really all about risk mitigation. And throughout the platform, we'll be bubbling up those leading indicators of risk. On these larger jobs that you need to progress bill, we're able to handle the AIA, G702, G703 type of progress billing, as well as um, getting a full picture of the budget and how we're performing with our starting updated budget, as well as committed and actual cost. And because we know what you spent, because we know what the budget is, we're going to let you know if you're underbuilt or overbuilt on these projects and being able to pull full-blown WIP reports out of build out. Obviously, today, if, if there was anything that caught your attention um, and you want some more details on, we'd be happy to dive into each and every part of the product to give you a more full explanation of what that looks like and answer any questions that you have. Appreciate the time. Thank you all so much.